right, when it comes to dinner time, every family has their easy weeknight go-tos, but how do we make sure these dishes are not only delicious, but better for you? Joining us today with some new twists on weeknight classics, including some great seafood options, is chef, author, and queer eye food and wine connoisseur, Anthony Porowski. Good morning. That's me. Good morning, Carly. How yeah, are you? Yeah, good, good. I'm excited to chat with you because I feel like this is my daily struggle. I have two kids at home, a third on the way. I don't have time to do a lot of meal prep, and I feel like every day I drive home and go, okay, what are we doing for dinner? Like, I need, I need some ideas. First of all, I'm not going to be shaming the classic way of having Gordon's fish sticks, which is how I grew up having them with ketchup. They're awesome, but at the same time, you want to have like a full, complete meal, and so what I love about these recipes is that the time that it takes to actually prepare the vegetable component or the sauce is the same amount of time it takes for them to bake. So it's not more time in the kitchen. Okay, so I'm so glad you said you're not going to shame anybody because I can't tell you how many times I've done that. I've made fish sticks for the kids and I'm like, oh, it's good enough. I can have some too. They're they're so good. I love them with ketchup. It's like the right amount of sweetness and acidity. Yes, I know. But what, what ideas though do you have to, to step it up a little bit? Okay. Um, so it's just come to my attention that this puttanesca is kind of like a grown-up ketchup of sorts. Basically using pantry staples like olives, capers, shallot, olive oil, and a bit of chili flakes if the kids are okay with a bit of spice. Blitz it with some fresh cherry tomatoes, roast it in the oven while your fish sticks are cooking, and then you have a nice beautiful tangy sauce made with fresh tomatoes. Baja style fish tacos. I don't know about you, but I haven't met too many people who don't like fish tacos. Um, and if they don't, they should because they're amazing. And you can make a nice, beautiful slaw with red cabbage. Cut it really nice and thin so that it's not too thick. Some fresh tomatoes, diced red onion, cilantro, which I love. Fresh lime juice for that like needed acidity. And you have yourself a meal. And finally, uh, the one I'm actually most excited about because I was just in New Orleans and I'm obsessed with Old Bay seasoning or any Cajun seasoning yes, in general. Me too. Sheet pan. Sheet pan dinners are awesome for families, bachelors whatever because what's amazing is that you can just throw everything on a pan throw it in the oven and then it's basically ready so we have sweet potato fries that are baked with the fish sticks and then you just toss them in old bay and you literally have fish and chips but like a 2019 healthier version of it wait a minute do you put old because i'm from uh, virginia in the maryland area where that's all oh. we lived off of was mm -hmm. the old bay seasoning did you put it on the potatoes and the fish I toss both of them in it. It adds the right amount of salt and the spice, and there's a bit of like that smokiness in there, and it's perfect. I love these ideas. And fish tacos, I cannot believe I've not thought about making them at home just with fish sticks. That's brilliant. Where can we get more it's recipes? So much easier, I know you got more. Yes, so check out all these recipes at gortons.com. And I promise they're super easy to make. I believe you, these are awesome. I may be cooking one for dinner tonight. Thank you so much, Yay. I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much, Carly. <laughs>